Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out my brand new SVA 545 class setup in Modern Warfare 3. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try to get 30 likes on today's video. I highly appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. Over on the secondary, we're going with the Renetti. Tactical is Stun Grenade, Lethal Semtex. Good upgrade is Munitions Box. Scavenger gloves, covered sneakers on the boots, and EOD padding over on the gear. For the vest, we're going to be using the demolition vest. This gives us resupply and two lethals. Now let's jump straight into the SVA class setup. So starting us off on a more personal preference attachment, it's going to be the 45 round mag. This is definitely my go-to when using the SVA. I just don't think the 30 rounds is enough and having that extra 15 definitely helps out a bunch. You do lose out on a little bit of aim down side speed, reload quickness, sprint of fire speed and aim walking speed. So you do got to keep that in mind. Over on the stock to gain back the aim walking speed, sprint speed and movement speed, that we lost with that magazine we're going to be using the skelly folding stock the cons are aiming out of sway gun kick control and firing aim stability and over on the rear grip we're going to be using the not z3 grip this gives you sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed you lose out on gun kick control and recoil control again keep that in mind this is not a recoil controlled class setup quote unquote this is more of like a faster pace with a larger magazine over on the muzzle we're going to be using the l4r flash hider muzzle this gives you muzzle flash concealment recoil control and gun kick control and over on the barrel we're going to be using stv precision barrel this gives you aiming out of sway full of velocity and range gun kick control and recoil control i think that this uh barrel is definitely really really useful i don't really care too much about the cons like i do know that you lose a little bit of aim down side speed and sprint to fire speed but I think it's well worth it with the bullet velocity and damage range that you get in, uh, for the sacrifice. As you can see on the effective damage range, you gain 35 or you get 35.7 and 58.3 for the minimum. Your bullet velocity is on 874, which I think that's really, really good. If you see with no barrel that it's at 31.8, 51.8 and 760 milliseconds. There is a quite a difference right there, and I think that the SVA definitely needs that. But that's just my personal preference. This class setup helps me, and I hope it helps you. I have a crazy MGB uh, gameplay for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy that, and as always, if you do, let me know with a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. A small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed, so if you like this video, consider subscribing, and also follow me on Twitch where I stream and play with followers. Also, if you'd like to, you can follow me on Twitter where you can stay up to date with me, and I also have a Discord, so if you'd like to, we can connect more on there. Now let's get back to the video. Alright, today we are going to be checking out the SVA 545. I have a pretty good class up for you guys. actually can't wait to post this video. The SVA is like probably one of the other assault rifles that I love to use. Other than the MCW, of course. And there's the shotgun. I'm going to call this UAV and uh, figure out where they're at. Okay, they're spawning over here. I do know the spawns are pretty bad on this map. Like, every map in this game that was unfortunate that guy just mantled over and ran into me let's try to get over i think they're gonna spawn back here yep That actually scared me. Okay, let's go. We're on 11 right now. 
Cannot mess this up. That guy is AFK, but we cannot take like any risk. Go on, team man, don't scare me. I'm gonna try to hit like a little flank right here. Okay, that's not good. They have a UAV up. Okay. Uh oh. Oh my god. Alright, we have plenty of time right now. We don't really have to rush into anything. Wow, my teammate just went off. Why did that guy spawn like right on me? That's why. I thought maybe like it was just a random parallel spawn or spawn. Okay, let's go ahead and call this VTOL in. Most of the people are towards the middle of the map. God, I like reacted to that pretty quickly. Nice. That was a big nade. How is that guy not dead? Okay. Let's go ahead and call that advanced UAV in. Okay, we're gonna wait on this guy. Luckily he got shot by a couple of my teammates. No. Oh. All right, we're moving pretty good now. Getting free kills here. Okay, let's see. That's number 30 right there, baby. Okay, we're on number 32. All right, we died on a 33 right there. I'm actually really good or really happy with this gameplay. We can kind of try to win this game. Like, obviously, we're going to call the nuke in before we actually win. But let's see how close we can get this. Yeah, well, that got shut down pretty quickly.
What? I think my bullets just went right through him. That was weird. No. No, that was actually a nasty nade. I keep getting UAVs. Oh. No, there's a trophy right there. Alright, we have another UAV in. If I can call it in without calling the MGB and that'd be nice. That guy's gonna tweak now. He's gonna think we're like right behind him. Oh, there he is. We have 68 kills right now and the game is like really, really close for some reason. I think they're still gonna Jesus we ain't even done now we're done No way. That was such a big streak, too. We actually could go ahead and end it. I'll have another gameplay for you guys. I really love using the SVA, so, like, I don't mind doing another game. I'm not going to go for a new foe. Because, I mean, I already got it. Where did I get shot from? <laughs> 